So last but not least for this week of top seven, which I'm going to do probably regularly from now on, uh, uh, is the top seven commanders in ED8. So let's go with number seven, Olivia Voderin. So the whole vampire theme appeals to me. The fact that she can steal other creatures at instant speed appeals to me. The fact that she can kill other creatures appeals to me. The fact that she gets much, much bigger. A lot of times in EDH, you have a ton of land and not very much to do with it. Well, Olivia Voderin solves your problem in one easy commander. Next, Sharoom. So Sharoom is all about the combos. He is in Esper colors. So he is frustrating to play against, but the people who like him really like him. So he's one of those commanders where uh, if you play him, you love him. And the most pimp decks I've seen uh, traditionally have been Shroom, the Hedgemon decks. Uh, people who play this type of deck like to pimp out the cards. It is a very strong commander. Next, Rafik of the Mini. Rafik is my favorite aggro commander. He gets really big. He kills you with commander damage. Uh, fantastically, fantastic card that is costed very cheaply for what he does uh, the fact of the matter is he can kill you in a blink of an eye and he has a deck that can support him with equipment uh swords all types of stuff like that and it's a very pretty epic deck idea at least next one norin the wary so a lot of you probably have never seen this card before i play against it pretty often he can take advantage of the fact that he's a 2-1 that comes in play and then bounces himself a lot so if you have entered the playability triggers then this card is bonkers insane because he comes down so fast and the fact is he costs one i mean he's cost one and he gives you incremental advantage overall he's a pretty fun commander next azumi lady of scrolls this card is bonkers good in commander the, in the mono blue deck they're going to combo off this is going to be one of the combo when one you have a commander that is a combo piece then that's not really fair because it's like starting your hand with a combo combo piece it's one less hassle you have to worry about so azumi lady of scrolls is very very powerful next grand arbiter the one that was reprinted in modern masters and the one from Re return not return to ravnica from the original ravnica card is insane so your cards cost less and your opponent's cards cost more yeah the card is insane uh next edric spymaster edric is one of the best one-on-one -on -one french commanders meaning that if instead of a big group you want to play one-on-one -on -one, edric is insane um he is very strong he draws you he's very good in multiplayer too but i normally play him one versus one i run into a lot of edric decks i actually play uh geist and the idea of you know, this card is very good it's gonna draw many many cards um even if you remove it it's still card advantage temple advantage very difficult to beat on one versus one commander so those are my top seven commanders if your top seven is different from mine or share what kind of commander deck you have and who your favorite commander is in the comments below. Bye guys!